There are many ways to serve after your time in the military, whether you become a teacher or stay with the Department of Defense. But what if it's the sea time you miss? Robert Melendez, one of five boatswain mates aboard the USNS Leroy Grumman, talks about his transition to a civilian life at sea. I joined the Navy when I was 17 years old. My parents had a sign for me. The Navy helped me grow into the person I am in, that I am today. Um, and I'll always, always be grateful for that. I felt like I outgrew the military and I had to move on. And the MSC was just right there at that time. My transition went smooth. And uh, so I've been here ever since. And I, I enjoy, I mean, this is basically what I know. A large portion of military sea life command is manned by veterans from all branches of service. David Murren, MSC captain aboard the Grumman and former enlisted Marine, explains his transition from enlisted service member to a civilian officer. I was enlisted, I was doing my reserve duty at Camp Edwards in Cape Cod because that's where I, I transferred because it was closest to the school. The academy is four years, Bachelor of Science. During the winter terms, you spend your time on ships getting sea time. You need 365 days of sea time. And then when I graduated, I came straight to Military Sealift Command. There are many different reasons veterans join MSC. Retired Navy Ordnance Man Michael Thigpen, able seaman aboard the Grumman, tells us why he continues to serve. I still miss it. And for me to be in MSC, still serving the Navy, it makes me feel, I, I feel pretty good about it. When I did my time in the military and then come out and come on this type of shit as a civilian to help the military, I don't have no regret. From the USNS Leroy Grumman, I'm Petty Officer Ryan McLernan.